into the pit, salacious crumb. <laughs> the next prisoner, Gamorrean guard. Gladly, Jabba the Hutt. C-3PO, new Gamorrean guard, and Jabba the Hutt place at each so separately. Excuse me, Mr. Hutt. You've captured my friend. Free him and keep me instead. That's a sorry tale, but this tale will make you sorrier. Guard, get the road. You always get him in the end, Jabba. Jabba the Hutt place at another action figures each so separately from Star Wars Return of the Jedi Collection, new from Kenner. In this review, I'll be taking a look at the vintage Jabba the Hutt playset released by Kenner in 1983 to coincide with the Return of the Jedi film. If you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. To date, this Jabba is still one of the most impressive Jabba figures ever to be made. Unlike most Jabba figures that have come out since, this one includes his throne, hookah pipe, and a salacious crumb figure. A little backstory on Jabba. Although he was mentioned by name in Star Wars and Empire Strikes Back, his first actual on-screen appearance came in the third installment of the original Star Wars trilogy, and that being my personal favorite Star Wars film, Return of the Jedi. Jabba is a large slug-like alien known as a hut. He is the most powerful crime boss on Tatooine. Jabba is usually seen surrounded by a large host of extraterrestrial acquaintances, such as various fellow criminals and slave girls, one of which Princess Leia is briefly made before ultimately killing her captor, Jabba has appeared in three out of the nine live-action Star Wars films. The second film appearance of Jabba was in the Star Wars Special Edition, which was released in 1997 to commemorate the 20th anniversary of the original movie. In this newly added scene, Jabba is no longer a puppet, but is now CGI. The 1997 version is so bad, it is shocking George Lucas actually approved it. Thankfully, seven years later for the 2004 DVD release, George Lucas went back and updated Jabba to look closer to his Return of the Jedi appearance. Jabba also appeared in The Phantom Menace as well as the Clone Wars animated movie. The first thing I'm going to look at from the Jabba playset is his little pet, Salacious Crumb. Every scene that Jabba appeared in in Return of the Jedi, this little guy was right by his side. The official bio of Salacious states that he is a monkey lizard. The figure is mostly tan in color. He does have some reddish brown fur around his shoulders and on the top of his head. He has a black beak and two little yellow eyes with blue pupils. His most notable feature are his large ears. Turning around to the back side, he has a large swirling tail. It is glued in a place and cannot be rotated or moved. Here is a look at the back of his head and his hands and feet. He is posed in a sitting position and therefore cannot stand on his own. He is meant to only sit on the throne. Now let's look at the main attraction of this playset and that of Jabba the Hutt himself. The first thing that stands out and probably the worst thing about the figure is the color of Jabba. It's like a puke green. Looking past the color though, the sculpt work is actually nicely done. The figure is made of a hard plastic. He looks pretty much like he did in the film. Taking a closer look at the head, you will notice a little hole cut out in the corner of his mouth. That is to hold the hookah pipe in place. He has red eyes with black pupils. As I stated before, the sculpting is pretty top notch for how old this figure is. They sculpted all the bumps and warts, and also all the creases and folds in his skin. One funny thing to point out is that while the job of puppet in Return of the Jedi had three fingers on each hand, the left hand of the figure has four fingers, but the right hand has the accurate three fingers. I'm sure they added the fourth to the left hand so he could properly hold the hookah pipe, but still a neat design flaw. The stomach is no different than the upper half. It still contains all the lines and folds in the skin. While it is not painted, another great attention to detail is they did sculpt Jabba's tattoo on his right forearm. Moving down to this tail, there are even little suction cups, like that of an octopus sculpted. The lines and creases continue on the tail as well. Here is a look at the bottom of the figure. And here is a look at the back side. Once again, they could have easily skimped out on the sculpting and just made it smooth, but they definitely went the extra mile. Jabba has a few points of articulation. His arms are able to move up and down. By being able to move the arms, you can get him into some different poses, and it helps with the smoking of the hookah pipe. Jabba also has an action feature. 
His upper torso is able to move side to side slightly, but in doing so, it makes his tail move simultaneously back and forth. It is stated on the package that his tail is able to knock over any action figure. Now let's take a look at the throne playset. This was a great inclusion, and until 2010, this was the only Jabba's throne that had been made. In the front of the throne are four monster statue heads sticking out. They are molded in a dark gray plastic. The two in the middle have holes in their mouths. This is because the throne contains a slave chain. It is just a black rope with a slave collar at the end that snaps around the neck of any prisoner. More on this later in the video. On the top of the throne you will find the trap doors that lead to the dungeon below. This is based on the trap doors for the Rancor Pit in Return of the Jedi. Opening up the doors and looking inside, you will see several creatures including rats, lizards, and snakes, as well as skeletons and bones. It's definitely not somewhere you would want to end up. Back to the top of the throne and to the side, you will find the hookah and pipe. Here's a close-up of the hookah pipe. It is a bronze in color. The base that holds the hookah is a dark gray. The hookah itself is the same bronze color as the pipe. There is a clear bowl on the top and bottom. It is just a clear plastic. Here's a look at the bottom of the throne. The top of the hookah can be taken off. With the top removed, you can place something inside, like water or slime, or maybe even a little snack. Now let's go back and look at the top covers of the dungeon. To open the trapdoors properly, you rotate the monster heads on the ends. Once rotated, the trapdoor will open up. You can see the levers raise the doors when rotated. Once the doors are open, throw your victims in the dungeon pit and then close the doors to trap them inside. If you just want to enslave the prisoner instead of throwing them in the dungeon, then just place the slave clamp around the prisoner's neck. Now with the prisoner chained up, he or she cannot escape Jabba's reach. With the additional fourth finger, Jabba is now able to hold onto his hookah pipe to smoke it. With Salacious in a sitting pose, he just sits on the side of the throne. While they did not release a Slave Leia in the original toy line, they have made several since. If you do own any, you can throw them up on the throne and recreate Jabba's palace as it should be. Now let's do some comparisons. First up, let's take a look at the Vintage Throne next to the throne released in 2010. Here is the Vintage Jabba next to the 1997 Special Edition Jabba figure. The 1997 figure was only able to look straight ahead and could not be rotated to recreate the original. Here is Jabba next to one that was released in 1999 in the Episode 1 line. Here he is next to a Jabba released in 2004. And here he is next to the 3 and 3 quarter Black Series Jabba. You can see the original towers over the newer one. And finally here is Jabba next to his pet Rancor. So that is my review of the Vintage Jabba the Hutt playset. While I'm not a fan of the paint job, I think this Jabba holds up pretty well. The sculpt work is nicely done, and like I said, until 2010 this was the only way to get a proper throne. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and leave me a comment on who's your favorite Star Wars character. Follow me on social media, links are also in the description below. Thanks for watching.